everybody, my name is Hannah and this is Pepper and Pine and I have a peg doll tutorial to share with you today. We are in the middle of our owl main lesson block and I thought that we could make little owl chicks using peg dolls. Alright, so for this project I'm going to be using our Lyra opaque watercolors. You could also use acrylic paints for this and I am going to pull out black acrylic paint for this project. I also have these tiny little peg doll babies. They're available at a childstream.com as well as the watercolor paints. Now I'm using some of this white opaque paint. I do want to cover our peg dolls completely with white to begin with and that paint is going to help. I also have these glue dots that I'm going to put on a little piece of paper and I'm going to glue down our little peg dolls. It's going to remove easily at the end, but this is going to make it a lot easier for us to work on these peg dolls because we want to make sure that we get the color all around. And I don't know why it took me so many years to figure this out. It's so much easier. My eight-year-old daughter and my 12-year-old son are working on this project as well. And we are going to just work through this together. Now I've got some of that black acrylic paint here and that's to make the eyes for these owl chicks. We are making a speckled owl and the owl chicks stay white, beautiful white downy uh, feathers for five years and I really like that iconic black look around the eyes. We were also debating whether or not to do a barn owl and we may still do other species of owls in the future but this one turned out super cute but it was still really hard to do. This is my eight-year-old daughter's, and she had trouble getting the correct shape around the eyes. I was telling the kids to make it look heart-shaped, and while she did a great job, she did get some paint elsewhere, and once that dried completely, then I was able to put white over it. My 12-year-old son did really well as well, but he wasn't pleased with the shape uh, that he made, and so I went ahead and I helped him out with that. Okay, so you can see that they're not pure white. There's some shadows and maybe a couple of gray feathers. And so I'm dipping into some light tan as well as some light gray in order to kind of give some detail and some shadowing. And I don't know that this is totally authentic to what these owl chicks look like, but in the end, I think they're really cute and it's the spirit of the project that is the most important for something like this. So I'm going to do this while the children are on either side of me and they're copying me. Doing the eyes was a little bit more challenging and I do help them both with that. I did not wait for the black to dry completely and so for one of them I had a lot of trouble getting that yellow paint to stick well. It kept revealing the black underneath and then once that dries then you can add the black eyes and once you do that it really kind of brings that whole owl together. All right, so I'm going to add a couple of wings on the back. Now, I worked on two, and each of my kids worked on one, and you'll be able to see all four at the end. All right, so now that they're dry, I want to make beaks for each of these little owl chicks, and I've pulled some of my scrapbooking supplies here in order to help us with this. I'm not quite sure how I want to make the beaks, but I have this little metal accessory that I think might work well, and I'm trying to glue it down, but I should have used a different kind of glue because the hot glue gun dried too quickly. It looks okay, but then when I didn't have time to glue on the next piece, the glue happened to dry kind of in the shape of a beak, so I thought that was good enough. And then for the third owl baby, I try something different. And I have just a little piece of wood from the end of a little accessory that I have. And I thought that actually turned out the best. So one owl baby doesn't have a beak. <laughs> and I still need to find something for that little owl chick. But then the other three have three different kinds. All right, so there are all, all four owl chicks. I think they turned out super cute, each one with its own personality. I think the eyes really bring this little project together. If you want to see some of the other projects and the materials that we're using for our owl and bird unit study, you can tap on the screen right now. You can find more pictures and information about the products that I use for this project on my website at pepperandpine.com. And if you want to see how our homeschool is progressing on a daily basis, you can find me on Instagram at pepperandpine.